Welcome back to Movies Outpost. Today we will talk about an action movie called Angel Has Fallen. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. The movie kicks off with Mike Banning in the middle of a high-stakes military drill. He goes through the building, taking down every enemy in his path until he reaches the exit, only to get shot by his own comrade, Wade Jennings. Bruno, another team member, gives Mike a yelling for tripping him on the stairs, but Mike argues that if they don't make the drills realistic, they'll be dead for real when the bullets start flying. Mike and Jennings then take a walk, chatting about Jennings' private military firm, Salient Global, and the possibility of Mike becoming the Secret Service Director. Jennings asks for Mike's help securing a contract for his team to train in that field, and Mike agrees to lend a hand. Lately, Mike's been dealing with some serious migraines and sleep issues. Despite seeing doctors about it, he's kept it under wraps from President Trumbull and his wife Leah. One doctor even warned that he's a disaster waiting to happen. Between that and taking care of baby Lynn, he's not too keen on taking the director position. At a White House press conference, Trumbull lays out his vision for peace and diplomacy, with Mike and current SSD David Gentry by his side. Later, Trumbull invites Mike on a fishing trip with the other agents. As they're out on the water, Trumbull personally offers Mike the director position, which he happily accepts. Moments later, the men spot what looks like a swarm of bats flying through the air. They soon realize that they are drones, which begin to fire upon the agents. Men are blown up where they stand, so Mike jumps to protect Trumbull. The two jump out of the boat and into the water to stay hidden. Mike manages to get Trumbull somewhere safe before both of them lose consciousness. The two men are taken to the hospital. Trumbull ends up in a coma after the drone attack, making Vice President Kirby the acting president. Leah and Baby Lynn rush to the hospital to see Mike, but he's quickly greeted by FBI agent Helen Thompson. She starts grilling him about whether he had any part in the attack on Trumbull. She points out evidence found in the van that activated the drum attack at the scene, has residue of Mike's hair and skin cells, and some residue also matching what was in his garage. This seems to point towards his involvement. Mike says he's being framed, but Thompson's not so sure and does not believe him. Shortly after, Mike is walked out of the hospital in cuffs and taken into custody. The escort team is driving when their cars just shut off. They are then attacked and killed by a hit squad. The killers take Mike with them. He ends up fighting them and causes them to crash into a tree. Mike recognizes one of the men as Bruno, leading him to think the men from his training exercise and his friend might be involved. Mike arms himself and starts running for it. Authorities later come across the scene to discover all the dead men, making Mike look even more guilty. Meanwhile, it is shown that Jennings is the mastermind behind the attacks, and he purposefully set it up for Mike to take the fall by planting his DNA in the van. Mike calls Leah from a payphone in a petrol station to let her know he is okay, but the call is traced by Thompson. Leah tells him that they have been receiving death threats. Mike cuts the call short when two men try to apprehend him for a reward, but Mike disarms them and hijacks the gunman's truck. He is spotted by authorities and the chase begins. After going down the road, Mike crashes the truck into the forest and has to run for his life. Kirby consults with other White House officials regarding the possibility of Russian government involvement in the assassination attempt and discusses potential solutions. He later holds a press conference to announce that Mike was involved in the attack and had collaborated with Moscow as $10 million was sent to an offshore account from Russia. He announces that he is hiring a private contractor to assist in a retaliatory strike. Mike hijacks a van and drives deep into the woods to find his estranged father, Clay. A former decorated Marine who left Mike when he was young and has been off the grid ever since. Mike had managed to track him down and has known where he's been hiding. Clay has been living alone in a cabin in the middle of the woods. Mike explains his situation to his father, though he is still upset about Clay abandoning him and his mother. In the meantime, Jennings manages to track Mike to Clay's location and sends his men after him to end it. The Bannings spot the men on Clay's surveillance cameras, and Clay takes them through an underground tunnel. Clay helps Mike and tells him not to move a muscle. He sets off explosives around the perimeter, then sets off more, then some more, and one more time for good measures. Mike looks at his dad and cannot believe what he just saw, 
but all of Jennings men are dead. In the morning, Clay shows Mike a radio playing Kirby's announcement. Mike contacts Jennings after realizing he was the one who set him up. The plan all along was to start a war so that Salient Global could get contracts and clients. Mike and Clay drive away from the woods. While stopping for gas, Mike hears on the radio that Trumbull may be waking up from his coma, but he knows that Jennings won't stop until Trumbull is dead. Mike also speaks about Leah and Linda Clay, stressing what he has to lose. Afterwards, Thompson and her fellow agents come across the dead Salient agents, and as she knows what Salient has been responsible for in the past, she starts to suspect that Mike really is innocent. As Jennings gets wind that Trumbull is waking up, he gets a call from his employer, Kirby. He orders Jennings to send his men to finish the job. Jennings sends his men to the Banning House to kidnap Leah and Lynn. Just as they are being taken outside, Clay shows up to kill the two men. He explains to Leah who he is, and he shows remorse for abandoning Mike and his mother. He says no matter what, he will protect the both of them. Thompson and her partner fly into the salient base to confront Jennings. Once they land and Jennings realizes that they know the truth, he kills both of them. Mike then makes his way to the hospital where Trumbull is, believing an attack is imminent. He tricks the other officers and grabs one as a hostage. Just as Trumbull wakes up, Mike makes it upstairs, but is apprehended. Trumbull orders that Mike be brought to him. Mike states that he is being framed, and Trumbull believes it, as he knows that he would not be alive had it not been for Mike. Soon, Mike realizes that Salient is hacking into the hospital's computer system, releasing gas into the chambers. He knows that they are planning on blowing up the hospital. The entire building is then evacuated, which Salient tech agents find out about. Jennings knows Mike got there before they did. Once Jennings and his goons arrive, a shootout occurs between Secret Service and Salient agents. Mike runs with Trumbull to get him to safety, while Jennings tries to kill both. The hospital's ICU is then blown up in a devastating explosion. Mike leaves Trumbull with Gentry as he is injured and heads off to kill the Salient agents. Mike manages to shoot, stab, and blow up nearly every man, before a military group takes out the rest of them. Jennings attempts to escape in a chopper, but Mike blows it up. The two men then decide to have a proper face-off, one-on-one. This ends with Mike stabbing Jennings, leaving him to bleed out and die. In the aftermath of everything, Mike is exonerated. While Trumbull and Gentry learn about Kirby's involvement with Salient, they walk him out of the White House and is arrested. Clay is then allowed to live with Mike and his family to make up for lost time. Mike goes to meet with Trumbull to tell him that he feels he must resign since he failed to tell him about his recent medical problems and that he doesn't see himself fit enough to protect him. Trumbull forgives Mike and says that the Secret Service Director position is still his if he wants it. Mike happily accepts. The film then comes to an end. Thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it.